Hello, I'm State Representative Melanie Stambaugh. We have two weeks left of regular legislative session. This week, members will be spending most of their time on the House and Senate floors voting bills from the two chambers. Budget negotiations are underway on the three budgets, the operating, capital, and transportation budget. The operating budget deals with the daily operations, funding our schools, our mental health system, and our state agencies. The capital budget deals with physical infrastructure, funding the construction for our schools, parks and community facilities, as well as larger infrastructure investments. And then finally, the transportation budget deals with our roads, our ferry system, as well as paying for the Washington State Patrol. The House and the Senate have proposed their versions of each of these budgets. Negotiations take place bringing the two budgets together to decide which elements will be funded and which will not. The House and the Senate operating budgets are near $40 billion. The House and Senate capital budgets are near about $4 billion, and the House and Senate transportation budgets are near $8 billion. For the 25th District, the transportation budget from the House includes $500,000 for downtown Fife on State Route 99, which will help relieve local congestion as well as congestion on an off-ramp from I-5, as well as it includes $36 million of fund advancements for the future location of the State Route 167 project. Project. This investment early will help reduce the cost of the overall State Route 167 completion project. The final day of legislative session is on April 23rd and it is called Sine Die. There is a potential that we go into a special session, meaning the governor will call the legislature back. The reason for going into a special session would be that the negotiations on these three budgets have not been completed. While I do not believe a special session is necessary, I do recognize the negotiating process is long and difficult as the two chambers oftentimes have very differing views of where investments should be made. In 2015, we went into three special sessions. Yes, these were long, but the end result was much better for students across our state because the final negotiated budget included a tuition reduction for our two and four year schools. This was something that was not in the original budget. And so the three special sessions were valuable to our students and our state as a whole. I look forward to supporting the final negotiated budgets and believe they'll be a benefit for our 25th district as well as the state of Washington. This past weekend, I returned home to the 25th district to walk in the 84th Daffodil Festival's Grand Floral Parade. It was great to see so many from our community enjoying the sun and a little rain in supporting our local junior high and high school marching bands and community organizations from the Puyallup and Pierce County area as well as across our state. I look forward to hosting the Daffodil Festival Royal Court this week here at the Capitol to share with them about how their government and legislature works. It is an honor to serve the 25th District here in the House of Representatives. I invite you to come down and see your government in action as we finish passing bills off of the House and the Senate floor. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to my office.